Welcome back to the podcast. This is episode 11, and I'm here again with... Charlotte! Why did you forget? I, I didn't! I just thought it would be nice if you said it. Oh, well, that's really considerate, but I do feel like you forgot it. I would never. I'm sure. I also, well, I, I not also, I mean, I, I forgot how long today's episode is going to be. Can you... Can you let us know? Yeah, it's gonna be uh, 6 minutes and 38 seconds. Now, viewers, I'm sure you're wondering why we're upside down right now. Oh. And that's because we're filming this in Sydney, Sydney Australia! Australia! Oh, good day, mates. Good day, mate. Uh, so, what's <laughs> <laughs> today's, today's podcast gonna be a, a do? Well, Paige, why don't you tell the viewers at home? I, I will do so. <laughs> um, today's podcast is about bobcats and other animals. You could call this the bobcast. That's an anagram for you. Charlotte, have you ever owned a bobcat? Yes. Okay, but your bobcat, what was the name? Oh, Bob? Like Robert Cat? Yes, sir, I was just a Tom. Oh, no worries. How was it doing? I mean, he's pretty quiet right now. You are very close to me right now. I'm sorry. No worries. I did not realize. Um, yeah, I'll bet. So... Sydney, you know? She was in Sydney things, am I right? How is Bob adjusting to Sydney? He's doing well. It's hard for him being on the ceiling, but... Right, yeah. It's, it's hard for me being on the ceiling. Yeah. And I'm not even... It's kind of how I misjudge the, the distance, because like now I feel like I'm farther away, but I know that I'm not. Yeah, you're still very close to me. Oh. Yeah, no worries. Is this oh. better? Uh, actually, I'll get farther away too. Okay. So, a bobcat, what do you usually feed your bobcat? Uh, you know, just like typical bobcat food. I've done a lot of research, so I know a right. lot about how to take care of one ethically and legally. And legally? Yes, I, I legally own my bobcat. Yeah, so what's like illegal bobcat ownership? What does that look like? Oh, you know, like if you stole the bobcat from oh. someone who legally owned it. Oh. If you smuggled the bobcat, oh, uh, to Sydney, Australia. Yeah, but I did that like legally, with all the proper documentation, so it was fine. Okay, okay. Um, and so a bobcat, what's what's the like sleep cycle? Are they nocturnal? Well, I'm glad you asked me and not somebody else. Okay. The thing about bobcats. <laughs> ah, nice spin, man. <laughs> Oh, Australian weather. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so they typically sleep around like 36 hours a cycle, and then they do a couple of other things for the other three hours. A cycle? Yeah. What's a cycle? It's kind of like a, a day on Neptune. Oh, because are they Neptunian? No, but they... So you know how we have a circadian rhythm? Mm -hmm. They have a Neptunian rhythm. Mmm, I understand. So... Uh, can they see Neptune usually? They actually always know where Neptune is. There have been some like, scientific studies done, mm. and like, they just know. Uh -huh. Like if you're like, hey Bobcat, go to sleep, but in Bobcat, they'll like look around, focus in on Neptune, even if it's like down below the Earth. Right. And they'll be like, no. It's not sleep time yet. It's not sleep time yet. Yeah. So what do you do in that situation, like, if you want your bobcat to sleep? If you want Bob, sorry, to sleep, and it's not Neptunially um, sufficient. I actually read this on a bobcat blog. Hmm. Um, a blog cat? Yeah, a blog cat. Um, as we call them in the community. I'm glad you've right. been kind of integrating yourself in. I didn't want to come unprepared. Of course. Uh, so they actually sell hyper-realistic models of Neptune that you can hang in a different position. And oh, once you wow. figure out where that is, mm -hmm. you can trick your bobcat. Because they'll look around and they'll be like, say Neptune's here. And they'll be like, yeah. Oh, this is kind of like x ray vision, sort of. Which is why Australia has been confusing. Because yeah. it's all upside down. Right. And that's not like inhumane to trick a bobcat like that? Paige, have you ever heard of the US Congress? No. They're humans. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Tell me more about them. And yet. Haven't we all been fooled? I've, I've been the hoodwinked wolf. before. Pulled over our eyes. Oh, yeah. The bobcat fur pulled over your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. So... I touched the ground. Oh, that's so cr Wait. 
Do you think if you put Bob on the ground ceiling, that, no? He's wearing shark nose, and that, oh. this ground says, showers mop sinks two, three, four. Mm, it does say that. I wouldn't want to mess with the mop sinks. Me neither. <laughs> I wouldn't want to mess with the bob sinks either. Uh -huh. If you were to put a bobcat into, say, a swimming pool, would it sink, <laughs> or would it, like, up and down bob and stuff? Bob. Hey, you it would bob. I, I, I see it. No, I think the viewers need to observe. Guys, come on in. Come with, this guys. This is your average Australian home. The average Australian home looks like this. You'll see a microwave over in the corner there that has 10 seconds left on it. Don't walk too far in. You gotta keep a hand on the door and you get sucked in. Oh. Stage, stage. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a close one, guys. Oh, she, why is the door unlocked? That's my question. Australians these days are crazy. Fuck. Oh, shit, I hear someone say, hey, who's in here? <gasps> no, not even with an Australian accent. Oh, Could have been the British for all we know. <laughs> Oh, hey, the doors I found a standard Australian residence. I mean, we could what? There's a. There's an old radio. He likes the radio. Who likes the radio? Bob. The yeah. Bobcat.